that this place was being built. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I went over and applied for a job and said yes. <laughs> because they were getting all these animals in and didn't have any place to put them. Mm -hmm. And they had um, some, some big lakes in the park. The whole park was 15 acres. And it, it was beautiful. And uh, uh, the lakes were all, uh, all concrete and about two foot deep. Mm -hmm. And so we bought, uh, I bought a koi fish from uh, Arizona, I think it was. And they brought them in, and uh, we stocked some of the ponds with them, you know. And also had tilapia. But uh, I built a, a, a lake that was about half the size of this room, back in the in the in the back of the park where the public didn't go. Mm -hmm. And uh, I put, uh, I think, I could put four females in there and two males. Because you could you could tell it uh, as well as in spring you know the fish spawn, mm -hmm. and you could see that these these uh, and I I had I had uh, fifteen hundred, and I could tell which ones were getting ripe and which ones wasn't you know, so uh, I put I think I put four females in there and uh, a couple males, and uh, they're nothing but carp, mm -hmm. they're a hybrid carp, and. Um, mm -hmm. When they when they uh, lay eggs, they just spew them everywhere. They're on the bank. They're they're everywhere, and they're hazy. They stick. So I put um, some kind of fencing in there, and uh, it was kind of bushy. And they they'd run in there, and what they'll do, they'll flap their body up against it, or two fish will get together and pop their, their bodies together, and they spray these eggs everywhere. And the male spawns them, you know, this is happening. And you go out there and look, and hey, there's eggs everywhere. I mean, billions of them. And I thought, hmm. So I got a 30-gallon tank, put it in my office, filled full of water and everything. Went down and got one of these little branches that was about, I don't know, six or eight inches long. And you could see the eggs sticking on it. Put it in a bucket of water, brought it and put it in that tank. Five days. I must have had 500 fish in there. I mean, golly, you know. And uh, I got to where I could uh, change the water temperature two degrees and stop them from spawning or start them to spawning. And it was fun to mess with. Yeah. And uh, uh, Dr. Bendret's buddy from A&M was over the Vietnam, uh, the uh, veterinarian school. Mm -hmm. He built a big pond. He wanted to borrow my fish. You know, because when the zoo quit, I mean, when the park closed, they gave me, he said, he said, go out and pick out eight fish, whichever you want. Well, that was not hard for me to do, and I've had them in the Dallas Aquarium for a long time. And uh, he wanted to borrow my fish to take them home, so he'd raise some goy fish, you know, and, he'd, and bring them back. And I said, you will bring them back, right? Hey, you'd be surprised what people do.